Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me today. I am Jim Coppinger with Zen Tech Consultants, and I want to welcome you to our introduction to Zen Estimate HVAC for Bluebeam Review, or what we call duct and piping takeoff simplified. Uh, we appreciate you guys taking the time today. Um, just a quick housekeeping item before we get into today's presentation. Um, because this is a public forum, I do keep uh, all the attendees, microphones, and telephones muted throughout the presentation. Um, but I do encourage you guys, if you take a look, you have the question box and the chat box in your uh, go-to control panel there. You can type in whatever questions or thoughts you guys have as we go through today's presentation. And uh, I have a lot of time at the end of today's session to uh, answer those questions. Just feel free to type them in as we go, and I'll address them all at the end. So with that, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. All right. So for those of you who have not worked with us before, uh, we appreciate your taking the time to learn about Zentech HVAC tools. Um, we're Zentech consultants. We work with the architecture, engineering, and construction industry. Uh, we're Bluebeam partners, uh, recognized throughout the nation for our leading technologies and our ability to train and help you guys implement customization in Bluebeam and all of your technology needs. We're CAD specialists and we're Procore partners and Microsoft partners. When it really comes down to your uh, technology in the design and build world, we're here to help. So we hope you guys will take a few minutes and visit our website and see what we can do for you. All right, so today we're here to talk about Zen Estimate HVAC tools. Um, so what are they, right? So uh, Zen Estimate HVAC tools are designed to work inside the Bluebeam Review software that you guys already own and operate with on a daily basis. And it gives you the ability to do duct and pipe work takeoffs uh, with an extensive library of over a thousand different symbols plus hundreds of different types of, of add-on custom tools and columns to work with those. Um, it'll help you know calculate the weight, the cost, uh, the labor, the material, whether you know track delivery and so on on all the the different component and line item pieces that you're working with in your HVAC and piping takeoffs. Right? That's the idea to simplify the, the the estimating takeoff for all of your HVAC work. Right? And how does it work? Right? So how does Zen Estimate actually work? Well, like I said, it, it fully integrates into Bluebeam. Right? 80% of the construction companies out there on the planet use Bluebeam on a daily basis. So when you're doing your quantity takeoffs, you're doing cost estimating and and weight and shipping calculations and labor material costs. Um, what this does is it gives you a, a built-in set of tools that you can use to just do your takeoffs and measurements right on top of the design, right? Right on top of the PDFs that you're normally working with uh, and, and, and add in all the pricing and features and sizes and weights and, and calculations that you always struggle to get by referring to, you know, uh, manuals and books and searching for things online. Zen Estimate HVAC handles all of that for you in one place, right? And we do that by structuring our takeoff tools into a series of symbols and, and sizes and gauges and so on that are built into 18 different categories with, you know, like I said, over a thousand symbols for your convenience and ease of use. It's a very extensive library of, of uh, tools and features. Um, and like I said, we've got the 18 categories, right? So we're talking about things like, you know, rectangular duct, circular duct, uh, different duct controls, uh, you know, ventilation piping. We've got all kinds of piping, stainless steel and copper and PVC. Um, you know, cast iron, uh, you know, we've got all of the your HVAC equipment in terms of heating and power, refrigeration units, valve control, supply and return ducts, right? All of the basic tools that you need to help you get your uh, HVAC work done quickly, correctly, and accurately, right? So that's what Zen Estimate HVAC is and how it works. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at it in action. Let's see how it actually works. So what I'm going to do here today, I'm going to jump over to uh, Bluebeam Review. And you'll see that I've got, right, it's, it's just the Bluebeam Review, standard Bluebeam Review that you guys work with on a daily basis. But over here on the, the left-hand side, you see that I've got my, my entire suite of um, Zen Estimate tools already loaded. So you can see I've got categories here with tools and features, right, and I can just expand out the individual um, tool palettes that I have so that I can see all the individual takeoff tools in each one. They're all categorized for ease of use. And on the bottom, you'll also see that we've got a series of built uh, custom columns, right? Tools that will help you on a line by line basis be able to calculate all of the costs and the weights and, and the concerns that you're going to have in terms of working with your HVAC takeoff. So, what I'm going to do today, just kind of keeping it real simple to give you a demo. So, you see here, I've got a, a basic ductwork plan. I'm just going to do some, some general quick takeoffs here uh, to give you an idea how this works. So, here you see I've got a 12 by 12 rectangular duct. So, I'm going to go up here 
to our HVAC rectangular duct category. I'm just going to expand it out. And you see that I have 12 inch duct. And I have the ducts both in a, a horizontal and a vertical control situation here. So I'm just going to go with the horizontal because I'm just kind of doing a plan layout here. Right, and I'm just going to zoom in and I'm just going to sketch a duct from here over to here. Okay. Right. So it's it's simply drawing on a, a you know a linear duct structure. Right. Now, now that I have that in place, when I click on it, you see that down here, right, on my markups list, or I can actually even do the same thing over here on the uh, the sidebar, the property sidebar. Right. You see that I've got all of my custom categories that I can work with here. So I can work with this either on the top or the side. I have the ability to go in and, and start to add the specifics for this. So this was not just a 12 inch duct, right? If you remember, I'll stretch that off. It was actually a 12 by 12. Okay, I'm trying to, there we go. There it goes, it was over on that end. So it's a 12 by 12 duct. And you see that I can easily move this and manipulate it and change it to go wherever I need it to go. So if there are revision or design changes. So it's a 12 by 12 duct. So you see here when I go into the duct or pipe size column, say I, I know that it's 22 feet, three inches long, but here, you see, I can choose all of the different 12 inch sizes. So it's a rectangular duct. So this one is a 12 by 12. I can change that, right? And when I change that, you'll see that my weight here, my weight column, the, you know, the weight of the actual uh, 12 by 12 duct, right, is actually changing. Right? And I can also go in here and I can set the gauge. So if I'm using different metal gauges, so I can go in and say, hey, you know what? Right now this is 20 pounds, but if this was an 18 gauge, right, uh, aluminum that I was using, Right, you see, and you've got both uh, galvanized steel and aluminum. So if I'm using an 18 gauge aluminum duct, see that that's actually 50 pounds, right? So I have an idea how much all of this is going to weigh. So if I'm ordering by poundage, or if I just need to, you know, allow for shipping and and you know weight controls, right? I also, and I'll show you in a little bit, we can go in and add in vertical rises, right? But going along with this, see that I also have the ability to go and start adding all of my basic crew costs, right? So I can go and say, hey, how many hours is it going to do I think it's going to take, I can put an estimated hour and say to put that in, yeah, it's one hour, okay? All right, at what crew rate? Well, the crew that I'm going to put out there costs me $125 an hour, okay? Equipment costs, if this was a piece of equipment. This is duct, right? So instead, we're going to go with the unit cost and say, all right, for this duct, it's going to cost us $2.35 a linear foot. Now, you see what's happening over here? It's calculating out my costs, right? My base costs and my total costs. So my base cost here is going to be variable. Right, depending on my condition adjustment. I also have the ability here, just in a straight selection list, to choose the type of work and the difficulty levels that are going to go into putting in this 12-inch duct. Right? Is it in a nice wide open area? Am I, you know, is it prefabricated? Am I using you know one of my best crews? Right? Do I have to transport that 50-pound piece of duct work, you know, 400 or 500 feet? Is it three or four, you know, three to five stories up? Whatever I'm working on. So let's just go in and say, hey, this is between you know 14, we'll say it's uh three to five stories up in here, maybe working in a real high rise kind of warehouse setup, right? So you see when I add that adjustment, there's a preset number that comes in and adds in a multiplier, right? To go in and, and help you round up your total costs. I can also track whether or not this was delivered to the site. I can track what date it was delivered to the site in a simple drop down, right? If you have to track returns, right? And what date things were returned, all available right here in this whole setup. So I can easily go in and adjust those. Now, to go along with that, I can also put in, you see that here we're going from a 12 by 12 up to an 18 by 12. No worries. I have my rectangular connectors. And you see I've got connectors for all different shapes. I've got uh, 90 and 45 and 22 and a half degree elbows. I've got reducers and caps, right? So, for example, I can go down here and say, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to grab a 12 inch reducer. All right? And you see it comes in as just a basic symbol that I'm going to set on here, right? That'll just line up. Say I'm going to put in a reducer. And if I had multiples, I could put those in. But what's nice here is, again, same thing. I can take that reducer, right? And I can switch that reducer to say, what size is it? So if I go to the sizing column, this is a 12 by 18, right? I'm going from a 12 to an 18, right? And then in here, I can go in and I can set the gauge for that as well. So again, if that's a 20, you know, let's say that that's going to be an 18 gauge aluminum, right? And then I've, you know, had vertical rises. And again, I can put in the hour, right? Because this is a single unit, maybe in this case, I'm going to put in an equipment cost and say, hey, the reducer's cost you know, $26, right? That's my cost, right? And then I can put in my hourly crew rate to install it at 125. And to do that is probably going to put, you know, it's going to be a half hour, right? I'll just put 0.5, right? A half hour to put that in place. And it's calculating out all my costs. And again, same thing, right? It's same, it's right in line. So it's three to five stories up. So I'm adjusting and putting in my rates, okay? So I can easily track that. Now, same thing, I can go and I can start to add in 
going from there, right? An 18 by 12, right? So I can just go right back up to my rectangular duct, go to my 12 inch rectangular. And now I'm gonna start my 18 by 12. I'm gonna go from here to here, right? And again, this now I can see it's a 12 by 18 already. That was kind of the default. Then I can just go in and I can put in, right? A, uh, a 12 inch, um, what am I looking for? A rectangular elbow. So you see, I can just put in a regular elbow here. Say there's an elbow going right there. Right? And again, I can change the size. What is this? Right? I can go in and I can change the size of the elbow, right? It's just a 12 by 12 coming in and out, a 90 degree elbow, but I can change right, what gauge it is. Right? I can set all the different components. I, I can even go in right? and like I said, I can go in and I can add in vertical rises. So if I'm running a simple duct from here to here, vertically and then i'm going to go in and i'm going to add in or excuse me horizontally and then i'm going to add in a vertical see this is a vertical duct i can go in and say there's a vertical change right here on that vertical duct work i can go in and i can put my vertical rise that one's going to drop down you know 14 feet right and now it's going to multiply the length right by the vertical rise when i go in and start putting in my estimated hours and crew rates and so on so i'm allowing for that additional 14 feet of vertical change as I'm working throughout my setup, right? It's a very, very simple concept. And all of these tools work very much the same way. You just have different sets of tools to work with. We've got circular duct, right, that we can go in and put in place, right? We've got different connectors, circular connectors, rectangular connectors. We got flex ducts, flex hoses, right? And we've also got a full array of pipes that we're working here in the Zen Estimate HVAC tool. So you see that I've got brass pipe. So if I'm running, you know, eighth inch brass, uh, you know, cooling lines in here, so let's say that this line here is a, eighth inch brass, I can just go from here to here, right, down to here, right, so I've got eighth inch brass, and again, I can go in, right, with the eighth inch brass, right, you see, I can do standard brass or heavy brass, right, if there's gauges related to it, I can set weights, right, the estimated hours, right, equipment costs, all the different components, right, for all different size pipes, standard brass pipe sizes, cast iron, copper, we've even got PEX, right, for your, uh, your water controls, Right? And we've even included here um, duct controls, right? And and duct-based equipment. So if you're looking for, you know, uh, you know, canvas connections or or you know, damper deflectors, right? Things like that that we can put in place. Right? We can count how many of those. So if we've got a couple of mixing boxes that we need to put in, maybe we've got two mixing boxes up here. Right? And again, we can just grab those and we can start to apply, you know, the different weights, the different sizes. Right? I can go in and just put the general equipment costs for these. All right, these are going to be, you know, $1,500 each, okay? And you see it's multiplying out. I've got two of them. It's doing a count on how many mixing boxes I have and telling me that's a line item is going to be $3,000, okay? So it's doing all of the, the, the adjustments and all of your, um, you know, condition adjustments and unit costs and hourly crew rates will all be calculated on each one of these line items, right? And I even have things for, or, or things rather, tools rather, um, for you know supplies and returns. So if I'm going in here and I'm throwing in and I've got you know to do some basic, you know I've got some uh, rectangular supply grills that I need to put in. Maybe there's one here, one here, and one here. See that it's coming in as a group of three items, right? I got three of them, right? and in here I can actually go in and choose the specific sizes, right? So you know they're rectangular, so if they're different shapes, whether they're square or rectangular, so if it's six by four, six by ten. Right, uh, let's go and say these are six by 10 supply grills. I got three of them, right? And again, set my equipment costs, right? Those are $15 each, right? And you see it's starting to do the basic material cost plus, you know, my estimated hours to put them in. It's gonna take an hour to install those at, you know, uh, maybe just punch a, a basic crew to do that at $75 an hour, right? And it's doing all the math, right? And I can adjust the rates, right? To, you know, using whatever condition adjustments I need up here. So that's, hey, that's in a pretty open area, so it's gonna be easy to put that in, so it actually reduces the price for me, okay? So that's the idea, that we've got this array of tools that we can put in place, right? It gets you consistent, reusable tools and output items that you can use on every single one of your projects for every single one of your estimating personnel, so that every single job comes out looking exactly the same way, responding exactly the same way throughout your entire life cycle of your project, okay? And then the benefit of this, not only can we do all these costs and get all this information in here, when we're done, it's very easy to just go in and extract this out, either as a PDF or to a straight CSV, right, in Excel. So I can easily open up this uh, document right, and export this out to Excel. So if you've got to take this and expand all of this information out, 
to reporting or for import into a third-party database system for your pricing, not a problem. You see that you've got all of the uh, fields that we have in place with the Zen Estimate tools, right? Everything that you need to know is exported out here into Excel. So you know what's been delivered, what hasn't, what are you charging for each item, how much did each line item cost? It even gives you your totals, right? So it's a very, very easy to use system. It doesn't take a whole lot of work or effort. It's just something that you can very easily go in, expand out the uh, you know appropriate tools, pick on them, and bring them in place. So if you need to drop in you know, a fire damper here and a fire damper here, no problem. Just put them in place and start adding all the custom properties. Or if you don't like the way the markups list works down here, I can always just go to the side panel and you see I can adjust all of those same tools. I can add in vertical rises, right? My hourly crew rates, estimated rates, all of those columns can also be addressed and handled for each of these right here on the side panel, right? So that I can easily you know, put in all of the appropriate values that I need. That's how the Zen Estimate HVAC tools work. Right? It's meant to be as simple as we can possibly make it to get you the widest array of information and pricing that you can possibly get in a very easy to use, affordable tool. Right? So, all right, that's what we were talking about today. So I think that gives us you know, a pretty good idea of how the Zen Estimate tools actually work. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and from there. Oh, uh, one thing I do want to point out with you guys, um, Zen, you know, Zen Tech, we can help you guys uh, you know, we, we, we build and package and sell our, our line of Zen estimate, uh, estimating tools. Uh, but we work with clients all the time to build and customize uh, Bluebeam tools and processes for your specific workflows, right? Whether they're entirely different things from scratch, if you're a general contractor or a manufacturer, you make windows, doesn't matter. We can help you build custom sets of, of Bluebeam uh, symbols and tools and, and quantity takeoff items like we're showing here with the Zen Estimate HVAC for your specific needs. So just something we'd like you guys to keep in mind. You can hit our website for more details. All right, so I did promise that I would take a few minutes here to take a few questions and look like we got a couple of questions in. Um, so the qu first question here is from George and George wants to know what version of Bluebeam are these tools uh, for? Oh, uh, so, Right out of the box, we have these, the, the Zen Estimate HVAC tools, George, are developed for uh, the V20 version of Bluebeam Review. Um, but we can actually work with you. Of course, there'd be a slight, you know, uh, there'd be a charge for it, but we can um, help you adjust that if you absolutely have to have it on an older year, we can work with you and we can customize it and bring it back to you for a fee, okay, for uh, a previous version if you really, really need it. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. Uh, I got a question from Samantha. Um, is this a subscription license or a one-time purchase where I get to keep the license? Uh, yeah, it's actually, um, we sell Zen Estimate HVAC on a per seat, uh, permanent perpetual lace, uh, desktop license uh, with an optional annual maintenance. So in other words, you buy it once, you can keep it and you can use it. And as long as you uh, pay the annual maintenance, each year as it gets updated to you know v21 v22 v23 will automatically give you access to the new and updated licenses okay uh, but no it's not an annual recurring forced subscription we don't we don't do that route um and it looks like i got one more question uh from gary um can zentech customize to add fields to this that I need like shipping fees and so on. Y yes, just like I said before, we can build your own custom tools for you from scratch for what you need, or we could actually take the Zen Estimate HVAC tool set. And if there are specific uh, features and tools that you need for your work that you want to add on top of that, we can work with you to customize and add the data fields that you guys need for your specific type of work and the way that you guys handle things. So yes, we absolutely can. Okay. Um, and I think that's all the questions that I got in. All right, so I want to thank you guys uh, for joining me today, and I, you know, I hope that uh, you can see the benefit of Zen Estimate HVAC. And if there's anything else we can do to help you guys out, if you need additional information, or if you'd like to do, you know, more of a one-on-one -on -one demo for your boss or whoever makes the purchasing decisions at your company, uh, we're happy to do that. You can just reach out, talk to my partner Rocco here. Um, at the number on screen, or you can just shoot an email to sales at zentechconsultants.net. Other than that, thank you guys for your time today. Have a good one.